All right, thank you, Jarek, and good afternoon, everyone. As many of you know, we have been in the process of developing a five-year uh, strategic plan for our athletics department. This is a process that began about a year ago this week, uh, where I got together with our senior leadership team and talked about the direction for the department, talked about where we would like to go, and specifically, we wanted to come out of there looking at our vision, our mission, and our core values for our department. And so we spent a great deal of time uh, developing those. During the process of getting to today, uh, we wanted to gather input from a variety of people, a variety of, of groups uh, on campus and in the community. And so we spent quite a bit of time with our draft version, uh, going around and talking to different groups and trying to make sure that we were including all the things that we wanted to include. And so today, uh, we're pleased to announce that the plan is complete. Uh, the plan is named or has been named Panthers Rising, um, a strategic plan to achieve unprecedented success. The strategic plan is available at unipanthers.com slash strategic plan. You can also access it through supportthepanthers.com. There's a link on there. Uh, the link for the site went live at noon today, uh, so it's live to the general public at this point. Uh, we also have sent out a press release uh, from our communications department that all of you should receive, and it has a link uh, included in there as well. Ultimately, uh, we decided that our vision uh, would really uh, concentrate on the student-athlete experience and the idea of pursuing unprecedented success. So uh, the vision says, uh, with an emphasis on the student athlete experience, UNI athletics will achieve unprecedented success in academics, competition, and all of its endeavors. So as I said, uh, ultimately, we're gonna keep our student athletes and their experience first. But when we looked at the plan and looked at what we wanted to do, we felt it was important that we try to push UNI athletics one step beyond where we've been in the past. We've done some significant things across all of our sports, uh, but ultimately at the end of the day, as we look into the future, we know we not only want to keep that role going, but we want to be able to step up our game uh, in all aspects and not just competitively, uh, looking at what we're doing academically, financially with our facilities uh, and in all of those areas. Our mission reads as follows. UNI Athletics provides opportunities for student athletes through quality learning experiences and competition. We take pride in our role as a unifying force for campus and the community. We operate with integrity, serve as leaders in diversity and inclusion, are innovative with our resources, and commit ourselves to the student athlete experience. So once again, student athlete experience is significant for us. One of the other things that I'll point out is that we were intentional in talking about our role as a unifying force uh, within campus and the community. Uh, we all feel that when athletics is doing the job the way that we ultimately want it to be done, we should be a place where people come together. We should be a place where our students come together, where our fans come together, where our staff come, comes together. And ultimately, we represent the very best of what this campus uh, presents and that we bring attention not just to ourselves, uh, but to the other remarkable things that are really happening on our campus. That's one of the things that I think intercollegiate athletics can really do. We talk about it being the front por porch for the university. Uh, from our standpoint, that means the attention that we get, we can ultimately take that uh, and make sure that those in the university get their just due uh, by getting attention for the work that's being done in the classroom uh, and in the other places throughout our campus. Our core values, academic excellence, community engagement, competitive excellence, diversity and inclusion, financial accountability, integrity, and the focus on the student athlete experience. Uh, if you look, you'll see that our goals and our metrics are ambitious and cover a variety of areas, and that's intentionally so. Uh, we know that we wanted this to be an aspirational uh, document. We felt uh, it was important that we push the envelope on what we believe can be accomplished, and so we wanted the goals and the metrics to reflect that. 
now that the plan is complete, there are a few people that I want to make sure that we thank, a few people, a few groups. Uh, specifically, I want to start with President Nook and uh, our executive management team. Anytime you're doing something like this, something that hasn't been done before, you need uh, the leadership of your university, and, and President Nook has been great to work with. He's a great partner with athletics. Uh, he has helped us along the way as we've begun to really develop this and put in the specific metrics. Uh, and it's just great to work with him as a president of this university. Uh, he's leading us in a really significant way uh, to what we feel like will be a better future, not just for the athletics department, but for our entire institution. I want to thank our, our entire athletics department staff. The first group that we ever presented the draft plan to was our staff. Uh, and we got our initial feedback from them. Uh, ultimately, if you're in this position, you know that you're only as good as the people that you surround yourself with. And we have great people on our staff, and they were instrumental uh, in not only helping us get this together, but when you look at what's the likelihood that you're going to be able to get things done, a lot of that comes down to the people that you have a chance to be able to work with. And I feel very fortunate that we have great people here and that that helps us get a lot of things done. Our Student Athlete Advisory Committee, they're the leaders amongst our student athletes. They represent all of our sports. We made a presentation to them as well. They gave us some good input. And I want to thank them for the leadership that they provide uh, to us each and every day, to student athletes, the feedback that they give to me, to other staff members, and the work that they do, uh, the work that they do in the community, the work that they do in the classroom, and obviously the competitive success that we've had uh, comes from them. And so we always want to make sure that we acknowledge them. Uh, Randy Pilkington, who's Executive Director of Business and Community Services, and Drew Conrad, uh, Director of the Institute on Decision Making, when we had our first uh, session when we had our retreat a year ago to really begin to to lay some things out they came over and facilitated our discussion that day and so they really helped us put together the initial pieces uh, of what this plan would be uh, and so we're really grateful to them they've been consultants through us throughout the process and really helped us to get to a point where we have a plan that we feel like we can be proud of uh, I also want to recognize Jeff Schimmel uh, from College Sports Solutions uh, Jeff was originally hired uh, by us before I became the athletics director uh, to help put together a strategic plan. That strategic plan was ultimately never completed. But when I started here and we started talking about the strategic plan, he reached out to me and said, you know, I have a lot of information, a lot of research that we did, a lot of interviews, a lot of things that can probably help you as you start this process over again. So I'd be happy to share that with you. And so he sent me a tremendous amount of information that really helped us get started uh, with this process. So we're really grateful to Jeff, uh, who didn't necessarily work with us on this plan, but provided a, a lot of the information that gave us the foundation uh, to be able to put the plan together. Uh, Summit Media, who is hosting uh, the site uh, that the plan is actually located on, they've been great to work with. They've helped us with supportthepanthers.com that was introduced a few months ago. Uh, and they did the work to put this site together in a way that we feel like is really going to be easy to navigate. It'll be great for our fans to be able to take a look, uh, see all the information, see the goals and metrics, uh, see the historical information behind that, inf behind those, um, those goals. Uh, they really did a great job of setting it up in a way that I feel like our people will be able to consume. Finally, uh, I just want to thank the various groups across campus that we met with. There were a number of groups from uh, PNS Council to Faculty Senate to uh, Student Government, uh, just a lot of different groups that we felt like we wanted to get this in front of, and they gave us input that was really helpful in the process, so we want to thank them as well. Uh, I just want to say in closing uh, how excited we are to be able to introduce this plan. Uh, how excited we are that after almost a year uh, worth of work uh, that we're introducing something that we feel like sets a vision uh, for the future. Uh, before I became AD, as a matter of fact, on the day that I was introduced at the press conference, I got a text from one of my mentors. And the text, it was just encouraging me, but one of the things I always remember is that he said, uh, David, there are certain things that uh, people are going to want from you as a, as a leader of the department. Uh, and so when he laid those out, uh, I thought they made a lot of sense. Uh, he talked about trust, 
Uh, he talked about direction, he talked about hope, and he talked about results. He said those are the four things. Uh, you really need to concentrate on making sure that you can bring those to your department. And so from my standpoint, uh, I feel like this falls under uh, the category of direction. Uh, how can we provide direction not just for our department, for our campus and the community as far as what we're trying to do, what we want to accomplish, and then not being afraid to measure yourself, to be transparent about what you're trying to accomplish. So hopefully with this direction, uh, with the trust that we're trying to build every day, uh, with the hope that hopefully we're bringing to, to Panther Nation, uh, we will really be in a position five years from now to look back uh, at this time period and really be happy with all of the results whether or not we reach all of our goals exactly as we intended, you know, you don't know that, you don't control that, uh, but you really do control how high you're going to set the mark and you control the passion and the tenacity uh, and the consistency with which you go after those goals. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get after it. Uh, and I look forward to working with great people to make things happen. So I'd be happy to take your questions if you have any. Ultimately, that plan has actually already been put in place to a certain extent in that there were certain things that we felt like we had to get done right away. For instance, replacing the turf uh, was something that we felt like we needed to do to have a good surface for our players to play on. Uh, our football team meeting room uh, was something that's important because we know our football team doesn't have a place to be able to meet all together as a team, and we want to make sure that we address that. Uh, we are replacing the floor in the McLeod Center for volleyball and for men's and women's basketball. Uh, that, just like the turf, was being dictated just on the, the idea that it was time for that replacement. Uh, we've had it for seven to eight years. It was now to the point where it needed to be replaced. So sometimes a priority is set by things that need to happen right away to make sure that your student athletes continue to have a chance to be successful. Beyond that, the priorities can sometimes be dictated by a lot of different things. Uh, for instance, when you have donors who step up and say, hey, we're interested in giving to a particular project, uh, then that can determine uh, whether or not you move forward with something. Uh, there are other people in the community, other grants that you can apply for uh, that will determine where you want to go. That's something that we look at. One of our next projects is going to be the outdoor track, the Messersmith uh, track complex. And that's because we're on schedule to host outdoor championships in track and field in 2020. So we need to get that done to make sure that we're in a position to be able to host it. So sometimes it can be urgency dictated uh, by what your student athletes need. Uh, you're trying to host something, something that's just been a long time since it's been replaced. Other times you're trying to drive revenue, so you want to do things to be able to help you to do that. So there ends up being a priority, but it can be different depending on what you're facing and what it is that you're talking about. Any other questions? OK. Thank you very much. I encourage you to, if you hadn't had a chance to take a look at the site, to get out there and take a look at it. Uh, we're proud of it. There will be some tweaks here and there. We'll make some changes with a few things as far as quotes or pictures. Uh, so you may notice some things over time, but we're really happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, we encourage you to take a look at it, and we're excited about moving forward. So thank you.